guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this Christmas ball. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, let's start our tutorial. At first, let's create background. Select rectangle tool, hold shift, and voila, our square. Select black and white gradient. And here we need this color. And here this color. Okay, radial gradient. And move the slider here. Now in the layers you need to lock our layer with our background. Now select white color and ellipse tool and create ellipse with these options. OK. Move it here. Now let's create rectangle with these options. OK. And move it here. OK. Now select both shapes and align them. And Pathfinder Unite. Now select direct selection tool, select this anchor point and this anchor point and make like me. OK. Now let's create here. We need here black color for the contrast. Create first rectangle. OK, and move it here. Now let's create one more rectangle with these options. OK, and put it here. Now copy and paste this rectangle and here. And one more copy here. Now select all rectangles and align them. Now select uh, this and this free rectangle and Pathfinder Unite. Now with help direct selection tool we need to round it corners. These anchor points select and round it and these anchor points select and round it and these anchor points select and round it. The same here and the same here. Select these anchor points and make like me, like this. OK, now select this shape, effect, warp and arc upper. And here we need 17 object, expand appearance, great. Now we need ellipse tool with these options. OK. Put it here. Now object, path, offset path. And minus 6. OK. Now select both shapes and Pathfinder exclude. Good job. Now object, transform and free distort and move 
like me. Okay. Now object expand appearance and let's bring this shape to front and this shape a little smaller like this and a little flat fatter. Okay. Now let's work here. Select this and this color object create gradient mesh 5 and 4 okay and now let's add colors you need to add color straight to the points okay now here the same color okay Okay, guys, now the last color, select this one and here, and here, and here, okay, here. Okay, good job, now let's work here, select this shape, black and white gradient, and now select this color here and this one here and this one here and again this color here and this color here okay now let's play with the sliders like this now let's work here select this shape and black and white gradient here radial and here this one here this one select gradient tool and a little play with gradient and this is the slider okay like this now select this shape copy and paste it and send to backward a little down the copy select this color and uh, multiply okay now select black and white gradient and radial gradient now select ellipse tool and draw this one and here select a screen let's move the slider like this now make like me put it here and make it a little bigger it's like our highlight okay now select it copy and paste make smaller and like round okay now copy and paste make smaller and here and again copy and paste and more smaller and a little move them okay now select white color and start tool with these options okay now move the star here and effect transform and transformation and here this and here these options okay now effect again transform transform and here these and these options okay move here object expand appearance 
Now effect, warp and uh, fish eye. And here 50. Okay. Now object, expand appearance and make the shape a little smaller. Like this. And a little down. Okay, now ellipse tool and we need to create ellipse with these options and you need to move it here. Now select stars and this shape and make clipping mask. Now opacity and overlay. Okay. Now we need ellipse tool with these options and select all and select this white ellipse and bring to front. Now select this one and black and white gradient. Here we need this color. Now reverse gradient and radial and here select uh, screen uh, sorry multiply okay let's look i think we need more darker so move the slider and make the shadow a little bigger okay now it's great now select this and copy and paste it, make it a little bigger and here we need this color and put it here. Ok, now select this, copy and paste again and make it like this and here we need yellow color copy and paste this one and transform reflect and vertical ok make it a little smaller and group it and you can put it here or to any place what you want a little down Oh, you can make it, uh, for example, a little bigger, select it, hold shift and like this. Now let's create sparkles. Select black and white gradient and ellipse tool, hold shift and create ellipse, radial gradient, here white and uh, here we need to add this color. Move the slider like this and here like this. Let's look. OK, now select it and opacity and screen. OK, I like it. Now make it a little bigger. Now select it, copy and paste it and make the copy smaller. OK, this is our sparkles. Now select this one and symbols plus OK. Select this one plus OK. Now we have symbols. Now select spray tool with these options and select this and just spray it like you want and select the bigger one and spray like this okay sparkles are ready and let's delete this one and this one okay now select this and make it bigger okay and move it here uh, now the last one here create 
this rectangle, make it a little thinner, this color here 90 and select all, unselect this and bring to front and this one move a little right okay let's look okay guys our ball is ready that's all for today guys if you like my tutorial please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next videos about a graphic design and in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator bye bye guys Mwah.